she's a wild child Got a rebel soul and a whole lot of gypsy wild Hey guys, so starting off with this look, I'm going to be mixing the Too Faced Born This Way and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. You guys know the deal, and I'm just going to mix those together, apply it all over my face. Today I'm using the IT Cosmetics Flawless Foundation Brush. This is definitely one of my favorite brushes. It buffs out your foundation so nicely. And then for concealer and highlighter today, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the neutralizer shade, and I'm going to blend that out with the same brush. And basically I'm just putting it under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and then also on my jawline just to highlight my face. And then I'll be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I'll be taking that banana shade and I'm going to go ahead and set all of my highlighter today. To set the rest of my foundation I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is the translucent shade and I'm just going to take that all on a big fluffy brush. Going back in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, I'll be taking that shade Fawn and I'll just be putting that into the hollows of my cheekbones and down the sides of my nose with the Sephora Angled Pro Contour Brush. This is a nice cool tone color so it's really going to go ahead and create that nice shadow that we're looking for in a contour. And then I'll be mixing the shade Java and Fawn and I'll be taking that on a bigger fluffy brush and putting that on my forehead and a little bit on my cheeks just to warm it up a little bit. For eyebrows, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is the shade Taupe. And you guys know the deal, so I'm just going to speed through this really quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows like I normally do, and then I'll set them with a clear brow gel. So I completely forgot to film a clip of me putting on blush, but later I just went in and added my NYX blush in the shade Mocha. To start our eyeshadow today, I'm taking the Smashbox eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelids. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the infamous Morphe 35O palette. And this is a permanent palette, so if you haven't gotten yours yet, don't worry, it will be restocked. So I'm going to be starting off with that third shade down in the first row, and I'm going to take this on a fluffy brush and just put this throughout my crease as our transition shade today. Next up, I'm taking that camel shade on the same brush, and I'm just going to go through and put this through my crease, just a little bit lower than that shade. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone now, so I'm just going to take that very first shade in the palette, and this has become my favorite highlighter so quickly, and I'm taking this on a flat definer brush and putting this all underneath my brow. Back to the eyelids now, I'm just going to be taking that medium brown shade right underneath the camel color, and I'm going to be putting this throughout the outer two-thirds of my eyelid. Now I'm going in with that darker reddish brown right in the dead center of the palette and I'm going to be taking, taking this on the same brush which is just a flat doe foot blender brush and I'm going to be putting this on the outer third of my eyelid and this is just going to create that nice gradient and deepen the outer sets of our eyes.
And then lastly, I'm going to be taking this dark grayish brown color and I'm just going to be putting this in the outer V. And I'm using a pencil brush for this because it will blend out your eyeshadow as you apply it, but it will not take away a lot of that pigmentation. So now I'm just going back in with a fluffy blending brush and blending out all of the eyeshadows. And then on the lower lash line, I'm going to start off with that camel shade. And I'm just going to put this all over the entire lower lash line. And then I'll repeat the same process with that medium tone brown that's right below it. And then we're going to take that reddish brown and just put that throughout the outer third of the lower lash line. And then I'll also take that dark grayish brown and I'll put that just in the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then of course I'll go back and blend one more time because blending is my favorite part of doing my eyeshadow. And as of right now, your eyeshadow should look something like this. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with this super glittery pinkish, champagne-ish kind of color. I don't know. It's really beautiful, and I'm just going to put that on my inner corner just for a nice pop. In my waterline and tightline, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Eyeliner. This is in the shade Black Velvet. And for liquid liner, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is in the shade Trooper. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice thin line on my upper lash line. And then I'll do a small wing. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm sure you guys probably already guessed that by now, but I'm just going to go ahead and put two coats on my upper lashes. And then for my lower lash mascara, I'm using the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I only like this mascara for my lower lashes because it has such a tiny wand and it's not that pigmented, so it doesn't make my lower eyelashes look super crazy. Other than that, I probably wouldn't repurchase that mascara. And then on my lips today, I'm using MAC Velvet Teddy, which has quickly become my favorite lipstick of all time. It's a matte formulation, but it's the only matte lipstick I've ever used that does not dry out my lips. Alright guys, and that's the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Bye!